Hello my friends, welcome to the metal shop. Today, up in Mantown, got a new guitar day unboxing. My one of my dream guitars right there in a huge box. Just wanted to show you the Jeff Beck Jackson I got on display here. I have an empty hanger over here where I'm gonna be hanging another guitar soon. We'll do another unboxing. That box is empty. That one's got something in it. And this one's got something in it that is the focus for today. So I'm gonna turn the camera over to my trusty assistant who's going to film the unboxing for me. Evening, everybody. knife this was packed by a UPS store you can tell they always pack stuff the same way they use this plastic wrapped foam Use tons and tons of bubble wrap. coming easy. Sometimes there's a lot of tape. Can't get the bubble wrap. It helps. It's fine. It's really stuck on there. It's funny you get a bunch of packages from UPS stores are packed exactly the same way so you kind of learn their kind of learn their techniques. All right, so a case is looking a little, a little beat up, a little more damaged. Looks like some water damage that I was not expecting, but that's okay. But what do we have inside? More bubble wrap. <laughs> All right, so we do the neck first. Inside of the case looks mint, which is kind of kind of funny. Cutting through tape and bubble wrap and not cutting on into what's on the inside. All right. There's our first clue right there. We got a cream colored hammer neck. All right. All right, we've probably figured out that something's amiss here. Thank you, my faithful assistant. This I is a. <laughs> This is a set neck guitar. Why is it in two pieces? Yes, it is broken. This is a project guitar. It's a 1985 Hamer Scepter. One of my dream guitars that I have wanted since, well, since 1985 when they first came out. No worries. We're going to have this one restored. Um, and I bought this for approximately a quarter of the value of a, of a nice 
example of this guitar. So it leaves me plenty of room to pay to have this restored. I have all the original parts are in place, save for the Floyd Rose. But if you guys know me, you know that I have plenty of Floyds in my arsenal. Uh, only one black one left, which this one will get. Hamer is one of the first guitar manufacturers to use uh, all black hardware, so they claim. Um, but we have here, uh, we got some little wood chips and stuff here. The story behind this is this came out of Ohio. Um, it was described to me as a regional touring band used this and uh, tried to do the around the neck spin. The strap button gave way, the guitar went flying and broke. And it actually is, I mean, obviously we're broken in two pieces. A good amount of wear here um, what the seller told me is that, um, the guy that uses only had the guitar for a couple of months before he broke it. And I'm thinking that a lot of the damage is from that accident there. You know, a little damage to the tip of the headstock. We have a little, there's a little break in here that's going to have to be addressed. Um... No big deal. We're going to do a complete refin on this. Got the boomerangs. Got the ebony neck. Anyway, only had the guitar for a few months uh, before it broke. And I think the guy who I bought it from was like a guitar tech for this band. I've been working on figuring out the, who the band was and who uh, the name of the guitar player was. I've reached out to the seller. Um, but, I, I mean, other than he must have played with... Um, you know, some pretty serious uh, buckles, you know, or, you know, bracelets, some kind of a studded bracelet or something here, because he's, he's, he's right down into that there. And in the back, and I remember this from the photos, yeah, he taped up, put duct tape on the back, probably to save it. I'm guessing this was some kind of, some kind of super metal band, and he had a lot of, you know, like a studded belt and studded wrist gauntlet, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, missing the cavity cover, that's all. Have this cover, which is good. Uh, real, got the Hamer Slammer pickups, custom wound by DiMarzio. We have the plastic Hamer branded posi grip, plastic knobs, this weird little um, three-way switch. Have the Hamer logoed tuners here on the back. Oop. So you can see the serial number five makes them 85 this you know we're missing like i said i'm gonna tear this apart we're missing a chunk here that was probably into shards which will have to be rebuilt but this was other than that this was a this was a clean break and it's funny how you know these guitars being set in that construction you know <laughs> it broke the glue joint the glue joint didn't give way. It broke in a different spot than the glue joint. Yeah, see, we're missing um, a sizable... Are we missing? Yeah, a little bit on both sides. We're missing a little bit on both sides. That was, like I said, was probably just shards. Anyway, like I said, I'm into this for a quarter. A quarter of the value, you can... Do the research on that. Um, one of my dream guitars, they don't pop up very often. And then when they do, they're usually, they're almost always black with the red bevels. This is a little bit more unusual with the, the cream colored and the black bevels. And I've never, this is the only one I've ever seen with a white headstock. Most of them had, would be the reverse of this. It would be a black headstock with a white little scallop here. Very, very worthy, very worthy project in my opinion. I'm excited to, you know, I'm actually, I'm ex kind of excited to restore the case. Because um, I'm not going to do the restoration on this. I'm going to send it away. There's a Black Floyd right there. And it was kind of awesome. I had everything. I had a period correct Floyd. I had the screw in posts. I have an R3 nut with the through screws. I had the T-bar, I had the claw, the springs. 
I had everything which is really nice. You guys, you guitar players know that there's symbol parts guitars that when you're pawing through your parts there and you have everything you need, just how cool that is. So anyway, just a quick little unboxing video of the latest project up here in the metal shop. Um, the Hamer Scepter. God, I love these things. That is really cool. Kind of a, a little bit of a ripoff of the Jackson Pointy Explorer that came first, I believe. More on that later. I'm going to do some my history with Hamer guitars uh, later on. And I will bring you guys along with me when I tear this thing down. So until then, my friends, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please hit me up in the comments. Still respond to all my comments. I truly appreciate the support. Uh, share my videos with uh, like-minded individuals that are into guitars and hot rodding just like this. All right, my friends. Awesome. Hamer Scepter. Yes. It's time.